Hey everybody, Frank Finance here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about two regulatory issues that DD, who currently IPO just two days ago, is currently facing. So you're going to want to stick around and find out more. All right, so the first issue and the most recent issue as of today is that DD was told that they were no longer allowed to register new users due to cybersecurity concerns in their business. So what that means is essentially no new users allowed to register pretty big deal when you, you know, you're signing up people every single day. Um, why is this? So there is a, there is a law in China that is the cybersecurity act. Um, it doesn't specify in the investigation, the regulars, regulators don't specify what exactly they violated or what they're investigating. However, this could be something as long as normally storage and security within the data itself and how it's stored is what I would assume. Um, so, uh, it's kind of a weird situation. Uh, how is it, how hard is it to encrypt data and, and transfer it in a safe manner? It's really not that difficult these days. So I don't understand why this is happening, especially to halt altogether the, you know, new user registration. That makes absolutely no sense to me. I feel like there's something else going on here in the background that we're not we're not aware of. If you like these types of updates, please consider subscribing. Also hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm. I appreciate you very much. Now back to the content. The second issue is a common issue among most Chinese tech companies right now and it's antitrust regulations and the regulatory agencies going in and doing a full audit of antitrust, um, basically violations in these big tech companies. So this one, they again, they're not specifying exactly what happened and why they're doing the investigation. Same thing with, the, the, you know, when they slapped that $2.8 billion fine on Alibaba, there wasn't a lot of information. And coming from the companies themselves, they said it was, you know, uh, not, you know, not substantial. There was nothing there, um, but they still got a huge fine on the end of it. Um, when it comes to Didi, um, yeah, they've been fine. I believe been fined several times for not reporting merger, merger details. Um, but this particular one, I think, is kind of riding off the back of general regulatory, um, an increase in general regulatory pressures that these big tech companies have been facing. I'm, I'm assuming that they're not going to have a huge fine. They're not making nearly as much money as Alibaba, especially on their net income side. It's, it's negative. So um, I don't think it's going to be a huge fine if they do get one. Um, but we'll have to pay attention to that. I don't know how much how much competition they actually have. In fact, I, I don't think it's a lot. I did my full stock analysis on Alibaba, published that yesterday. So go check that out. All right, so those are the two issues. First being a cybersecurity concern. Now the, the government said you can't register any new users. This is like the US government going to Facebook and saying you can't register any new users or Uber, the same, you know, going to them and saying, sorry, no more new registrations here. That would just be devastating to growth to the company. So um, really crazy there. Um, and then on the second side, the second issue being, uh, you know, general antitrust um, regulation that's just been ramping up in, in China. So those are two things they definitely want to pay attention to as they go into earnings and, and release further information. We'll be keeping an eye on this, keep a pulse on it, and we'll update you as we find out more. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Frank, Frank Finance, out.